back in uh, January of 2016, uh, I was headed to work about 5.30 in the morning, heading down 1488 towards I-45. Approaching I-45, another vehicle comes over two lanes, hits me head on. He was doing 60, I was doing 55. No brakes, both trucks smashed. Next day, I woke up in the hospital about a week later, and I really had consciousness back from there. For what we both, wearing seat belts, both of us survived. No major head or body injuries. His injuries were similar to mine, uh, but both of us had seatbelt on, and both of us were able to eventually walk away. I have no recollection of it, and apparently he came over two lanes and hit me. Later that, I found out that he was severely intoxicated from his blood alcohol content. I spent initially, I believe, four to five weeks in the hospital. I was in ICU for a week and then regular hospital for a few days. And I spent almost a month in tear inpatient rehab. I went through a total of eight or nine surgeries. So it took probably a year and a half to get somewhat similar normal after going to rehab twice a week. Um, I got down to 150 pounds with not being able to really move or anything like that. So I was in a wheelchair when they first released me for a month and a half. Ever since I can remember, I've always buckled up. Now, luckily, with all the alarms, they sit in the car, that you know, it makes it that much more of a habit. But uh, yeah, I don't go anywhere without doing it. And this is just to another test that I won't ever not do it now. I mean, that seatbelt saved my life. Guys, coming personally firsthand, knowing that a seatbelt saved my life, please buckle up. For that extra two seconds it takes, you will not regret it. Thank you for the Mills Foundation for doing everything they do. We appreciate it.